everybody and welcome back to Art à la carte. When you're at a convention, workspace is really limited, so having all my art supplies in one little nifty place really is helpful. There are a lot of marker traveling cases that you can purchase and I will leave a link to those in the description box below. But this is one that actually came from the Color It company. It had all of their markers in it. And if you'd like to find out more information about the Color It markers, I will leave a link to the video where I reviewed them in the description of this video as well. <laughs> This case can easily hold 50 regular markers. If you look in the very bottom of the case, you'll see it has a little frame grid. It keeps the markers nicely fit in there so they're not falling over. Squish these markers up and still have a little room in the side here to throw some extra pencils and pins, things like that. For being such a small case, I was really able to carry a lot of art supplies in this. Aside from my Copic markers, I brought two color sketch pencils, and I love this brand. It's the Pilot Color Enos brand, and it comes in several different colors. So I just grabbed two of them. I have a pink and a purple. I brought a regular eraser, click eraser, and two Copic ink pens, one in black and one in cool gray. This is a pretty good setup, but every time I travel with my art supplies, I kind of figure out what works better for me, what things I really missed having, and what things I really didn't use. So as far as pencils, erasers, and pens, what do I wish I would have brought? And that would have been a regular drawing pencil, because everything I sketched was either in pink or purple. I would have liked to have the freedom just to have a regular graphite colored. So I think next time I will be adding a regular just graphite pencil with that. I totally used both of these erasers, so I don't think I would have changed anything with the eraser. I might add in a gummy eraser, but I actually really never missed having this while I was traveling. As far as ink pens, I think the only thing I missed was having a brush pen, so I think I would add that to my traveling mix. So I think next time I travel, this will be the actual art supplies that I will bring. Now let's talk about the markers that I brought. So I chose to bring 50 one markers with me and I had this one just either sitting in here or up in the back of there. So let me go ahead and swatch through really quickly all the colors that I chose and then tell you which ones I used a lot, which ones I didn't use at all, and which colors I wish I would have brought with me. For the Blue Violet family I brought this selection which is BV20, BV23, and BV25. These work great as standalone colors and also as shading so I'm really happy that I brought them. As you can see this marker here is almost completely dried out. I thought I had checked all of my markers but failed to check my BV23. So that's one thing I wish I would have done. Double check, refill my markers up so that they're all ready to go and I don't have to worry about them drying out halfway through my first drawing. For the Violet family, I chose V20 and V25, which again are great standalone colors, but I use them highly in shading and shadowing. For the Red Violet family, I chose RV34, RV91, and RV11. And this is a nice selection of desaturated pinks. I brought a few more for the Red family and chose out R00, R11, R20, R27, R37, and R56. The first three working really well with blending skin tones and the other three being different shades of red. For the yellow red family, I only brought one marker, which is YR21, a cream color. Okay, so these two markers were hiding in my case. I need to go with the color families. So one is an RV99, which is a super dark reddish color. And this one is a yellow red 30, which is a very soft, almost white color. I use this color when I want a really dark color that's almost black, but not totally black. I like using a dark red or a dark blue. And this color here works great for blending in your lighter tones. So for the yellows, I again brought three different colors, a Y00, Y32, and Y18. I wanted both a light yellow and a deep yellow, and then this one's kind of a nice mixture in between, but with a slightly muted color where I could use it easily with skin tones. For the yellow greens, I chose three of them, which is YG61, YG63, and YG91. For greens, I brought a G000, a G... O0, a G21, and a G99, which again give me a nice variance of deep colors, light colors, and mid-tone colors. For blue-greens, I bought my three favorites, which is BG10, BG72, and BG78. 
Okay, so this guy looked so blue, I didn't realize he was a blue-green. So I also had this marker, which is BG07, which is a fantastic teal color. I brought with me five different blues, being B000, B06, B39, B45, and B99. Again, making a really nice selection of very light blues, rich blues, deep blues, desaturated blues, and almost black blues. My largest selection of color grouping is my earth tones, and I chose a lot of them because I wanted a wide selection and variance in skin tones. The colors I brought were E0000, E00, E04, E11, E13, E21, E23, E27, chocolate milk, E39, E50, E71, E74, E84. And if being an artist doesn't work out for me, I could always be a bingo announcer. Bingo! The last two markers that I chose were a gray, which was warm gray one, and my special black, which is 110. And I think I used every one of these colors at least once during my trip, so I'm glad I had them with me. But what colors would I like to add? I just take all of the colors? Aside from having a few more gray tones, which would have been wonderful, the only color that I desperately needed and couldn't really mix or blend very well was a good old-fashioned orange. What are some of those tools and supplies that you bring when you go on a trip? So let's talk about that in the comment section. If you're brand new to my channel, welcome to Art of Carte. Make sure to hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any future videos. And as always, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. And until next time, God bless you guys. And we'll see you in another art video. Maybe this one or that one. Watch all the art videos. Bye.